So you want to buy a Vans RV7. I like Vans, you may know that. I like the RV7, why? First, it's significant. Oh God, here we go. Quickly, bear with me. Van, well, 70s Van, decided he was going to design the best all-around sport plane that there ever was. And he did, the RV3. The market said, we love it. And shortly after they said, we want two seats. Terrific, RV4, hooray. Now, Van was clever. He knew that pilots are super cool and super cool pilots have super hot wives or er, spouses. And super cool pilots want to see their super hot spouses while they're flying. Side by side, RV6 was born and went on to become and remain to this day, the best-selling kit plane of all time. For God's sakes, man, RV7. I know, it's next. Anyway, now we have thousands of people building RV6s, thousands of people flying RV6s, and thousands of people complaining to Van about every minute detail and hiccup along the way. That's where the RV7 comes in. Overall, the same basic design as the RV6, with the benefit of thousands of flight hours and lessons learned from the thousands of RV6s that came before it. And to go with it, a modernized kit that would set Vans apart in build simplicity. That's one reason I like RV7. The other reason is this. Look at this performance. And all while looking at your hot spouse. By the way, this is not a paid promotion. Vans is not a sponsor of Complete Walkaround. Although, Vans, Greg, you know, don't be a stranger. How much? Similar to RV8 and 9, the range to build or buy one is wide. Avionics options are vast. Both fixed pitch or constant speed props are common. Many have like homing 360s. Some have 320s. Few have something other than those. Cost breakdown for RV7 is pretty much the same as the RV8 and RV9. In fact, these are the numbers from my RV8 video, RV9 video, spoiler alert. Adding it up works out with a higher cost per mile than the RV8 simply because it's not as fast. Cost per hour is the same, but you cover less distance in that hour. RV7 side by side just has a little more drag than the RV8's tandem. Okay, so why would somebody not buy or build an RV7? Honestly, it's a good question. I suppose it's not the cheapest plane in the world. Little to no backcountry capability. Golf clubs are an option without major modifications to your passenger seat. And speaking of passengers, your choices are limited to one. And I guess if you're especially large, an RV14 might be more up your alley. But that's pretty much it. Aside from those possibilities, this is quite possibly the airplane for you. Vans RV7, thanks for watching. See you in the next.